Hello students, so in this module we are learning an important process called as fertilization or syngamy. Now let's see what this beautiful process is. When we want to define fertilization students, it is the process of what? Of fusion of haploid male and female gamete to form what? To form diploid zygote with 2n chromosome students. So this is what the definition of fertilization is. But let's do the detailing of fertilization. When we talk about fertilization in human students, it is internal. That means it takes place inside the body of the female. But where exactly inside the body of the female? It takes place here. And what is this point being pointed at? This is the ampulla of the oviduct, the longest section of oviduct. Fertilization occurs in the ampulla of oviduct and normally within the six hours of ovulation students. Now when we talk about fertilization, millions of sperms released during the insemination, that is the release of semen in the vagina of the female. Around 300 million sperms released but only very few are capable of getting close to the egg and from those few only one gets to fertilize students. Now let's see when we talk about fertilization after insemination activation of sperms takes place by fallopian tube which releases a viscous fluid. But another important step before the actual process of fertilization takes place students is something we call as fertilizing anti-fertilizing reaction and what is that let's see now what happens is the ovum female ovum has a glycoprotein which it secretes called as fertilizing it recognizes human sperm because human egg needs to be fertilized by human sperm only. So this chemical students recognizes another chemical on the sperm head which is called as anti-fertilizing which is produced by sperm head and once it recognizes it then only fertilization can proceed. This process is one of the most important process before the fertilization called as fertilizing anti-fertilizing reaction students which is highly highly species specific that means the sperm of any other organism any other animal cannot fertilize human egg now moving on to the details of the process students this is human egg and let's say the sperm which is trying to fertilize the egg it has to penetrate or pass through three layers outermost corona radiata then the second one the transparent one zona pellucida and the innermost students is the white line membrane so it needs to penetrate through these three layers and then only fertilization will be successful so let's see the first layer corona radiata how does it pass through this it releases an enzyme acrosome of the sperm students releases an enzyme called as hyaluronidase which dissolves the cells of this layer. Remember corona radiator cell students were glued by the acid called hyaluronic acid. That hyaluronic acid is destroyed by this enzyme called as hyaluronidase. Now the second layer which is that zona pellucida. Zona pellucida students is penetrated by the release of an enzyme called as acrosin or zona lysin that dissolves this layer. So two barriers crossed. Now the third is which one? White line membrane. White line membrane students once the sperm head, the acrosome membrane touches the white line membrane they fuse together acrosome membrane and white line membrane fuse together and that releases the nucleus of sperm inside the ooplasm immediately after the students the second meiosis completes you remember egg of a female was arrested at metaphase 2 stage of meiosis 2. Now it proceeds further and meiosis 2 completes. So you can see that now there are two polar bodies there. Now by this time 
first polar body also divides to form another polar body. So, in the perivitaline space, you may see two or three polar bodies there. Now, what happens after simultaneously with this is the vitaline membrane, you can see, transforms into a membrane which we call as the fertilization membrane. And what is the purpose of that? Once fertilization membrane is formed, students, no other sperm can penetrate through the egg now. That means fertilization membrane is preventing polyspermy. Now, no other sperm can penetrate through the egg. Now, what happens students is both the nuclei, sperm nucleus and egg nucleus, they absorb a lot of water and they start growing in size. You can see there. We call them now pronuclei. Sperm pronucleus fuses with the egg pronucleus. We call this process as amphimixis or karyogamy. Karyon nucleus, gamy is marriage. And students, this is when we say woman has conceived or she is pregnant. Now, fertilization significance, what for? Fertilization completes oogenesis. It also determines the gender of the baby. If the sperm having X chromosome fuses, it's going to be a baby girl. And if it is Y chromosome, it's going to be a baby boy. Also, it restores diploidy. Fertilization introduces proximal centriole in the ovum now. Also, students, it brings about genetic recombination leading to variation and the most important process, evolution. So, herein we completed fertilization, students. We are going to be in the next module taking care of embryonic development. Till then, take care.